So it's Friday evening, the weekend is upon us and I'm just about to leave to go to my first gig of the weekend. I've literally been working all day today, so I've done a quick turnaround and just like Wonder Woman or Superwoman, I'm ready for the evening. Although it could look probably that little bit better. If you are liking what you're seeing, make sure you do give this thumbs up and don't forget, subscribe. gonna miss me smidge i'm leaving now to go and get my pa system say bye say bye he attacked the phone earlier he doesn't like being in the limelight i don't think i'm trying to make him a famous cat and he's not enjoying it are you he's like whatever so the weather is completely terrible i mean take a look one thing I am grateful for is that gigs don't have to be outdoors anymore, which is a bloody good thing and all, isn't it? I'm on my way now to go and pick up the sound and lights coordinator. If anyone doesn't know who that is, it's actually my dad. <laughs> yes, he's on the payroll, sort of. If he's lucky, buy him a pint so we're on the road and dad is driving i am sitting here just um enjoying being chauffeured around dad's struggling to get out of the car parking space because there's a car right up his yep are you looking forward to tonight i'm trying to drive the fucking car again <laughs> is there a car coming um uh, you're all right this way hang on wait Go, 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 go. So I'm feeling a little bit down in the dumps because I went to my mum's house before I picked up my dad. I thought it's about time that I went on the scales and checked out my weight. Mum's got digital scales. So I decided, try them, see where you're at. And um, lo and behold, I've put on a stone. Oh my God. It's got to be because of cars, hasn't it? I've put on a stone. I'm absolutely devastated. Could be all them sausage rolls you keep bringing me. Um, or anything like that and we'll see how it goes it's a funny old entrance into here it's not overly grand when you go in but the bar is really really nice and it's a lovely little place to pitch a tent and we've got some dog walkers in here and we've got some lights that's good maybe we're gonna put our own lights up dad right let's get out let's get set up you're on lights i'm on sound let's go such a long day i've literally just come into the house kicked my shoes off rammed a pizza down my throat <laughs> and come up to bed i'm so so tired it was really really good obviously um there's all this social distancing in place but um considering they were glued to their chairs yeah fantastic so bring on tomorrow and um Hopefully tomorrow's gig will be just as good. And then if it is, we'll have like um, an incredible weekend. So bring it on. Tomorrow night, Borland Sands. Courton. 
So this is the day job. Yes, we work for Swimple. This is Holly. Holly, say hi. Hello. Tell everyone what you do here, Holly. I'm a lifeguard. We're in a work bubble, me and Holly are. Yeah. Oh, why don't you show everyone Guy? Guy, say hi. Say hi to Guy, the camera. Guy, come say hi. Hello. That's Hello. Guy. <laughs> tell everyone who you are. I'm Guy and I'm a lifeguard. Oh, tell everyone about your band. <laughs> about my band? Because um, Guy... <laughs> Guy is an amazing guitar player, electric guitar player. Tell them what it is. Joy the fortune teller. So make sure that you look them up on Facebook. You like and you, you give them a like. Yes, give them Thumbs a like. Thumbs up. Thumbs yes, up. Please. If you want to see a good band, this is the band. Thank you. Yeah. Holly, you play football, don't you? Yeah, I do. What team do you play for? For Stalin. Stalin. I didn't even know that. Stalin I didn't even know it was Stalin. I've worked with you for how many months now and I didn't know you played yeah, for Stalin. Stalin. Oh, I thought it was Golston. Ladies, seven aside. <laughs> seven aside, see that? Now that's a football team. How many is there usually in a football team? Seven. There you go. That's because <laughs> they're so good. They only need seven. <laughs> I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> anyway, guys, say goodbye. Bye. Bye. You don't know how lucky you were to meet my team. You don't know how lucky you were. So I'm just about to leave for my gig at Broad and Sand. So I'm going for a silver top today. And Tim's really upset that I'm leaving because it's going to be for a whole hour. I know I'm really gutted. Please don't go. Well, it won't be an hour. But you'll be there for an hour. Don't miss me too much, baby. Yeah, a whole hour at Broad and Sands. Quite handy actually because I can use their equipment so therefore I don't need to go really really early. He's devastated as well. Six. I know I need to leave now. No hanging around. I've got to go and pick the sound and lights coordinator up. Tim has got some clearing up to do because when I was looking for something to wear I got all my stuff out and chopped it all over the bed. Actually I've like dumped it now in the corner of the room for Tim to clear up. No, not really. I will do it when I get back. It's hard life being in show business. Right, I'm off to go and get sound lights coordinated. Give me a kiss. Mwah. Don't miss me too much, baby. I'll try not to. Yes. So here I am backstage at Broadland Sands. They're doing the bingo at the moment and I'm going on shortly. This is a really nice dressing room. Have a little look at that. They've made the wall nice and like musical. Which should be nice. And I've got a nice mirror. Nice and big. Um, chairs are like up, so I don't know whether I can sit on them, but I'm absolutely fine sitting on the dressing table for now anyway. Yep, so here we are. I'm just going to go through my playlist actually, so I know what I've got. This is what I work off. I work off a tiny little iPod. I've got an iPad that Tim bought me for Christmas, but this works just fine and it's so small it does the job. So I just take this everywhere with me. What am I singing tonight? Let's have a quick look. It's the same set as the last place I sang at. So I'm doing uh, a bit of Julepa, Bruno Mars, Brian Adams, Madcon, Jonas Brothers. Okay. I have to give myself a little bit of a recap because I can't actually remember what it was I was doing. Yes, yeah, so we've got Uptown Funk, Do Leaper, Beggin, Jonas Brothers, Maroon 5, Human Rag and Bone Man, and then we're going to go into some oldies, Under the Boardwalk, Shoop Shoop, and so on and so forth. So, right. Interesting. Hang on, what am I ending on? That's most important. What am I ending on? I'm ending on Memories. Maroon 5, Shotgun, and then Memories. An encore shape of view. Hmm, okay, that's good to know. You have to give yourself a little bit of a recap, really, don't you? Yeah, because just so you prepare yourself. But they think I'm mad if they can hear me talking to myself in here. I'm not talking to myself, I'm doing a vlog. One thing I'm finding really, really difficult at the moment is um, when I'm doing my gigs and I've got to wear these masks, I'm finding that my I put red lipstick on and I've got to walk everywhere in my mask and my mask is just like getting red lipstick all over it and then I take it off and my lipstick's gone. I don't know whether I need to invest in like a COVID friendly lipstick or something. That's really annoying me. Um, last night was fantastic. Um, 
my microphone bust on me just before I was due to sing and I ended up using the bingo mic which was um, a challenge but succeeded <laughs> um, show must go on and all that so yeah this is backstage dad's out the front he's dying for a pint can't get one because he's just rang me and said I need to use the app I'm sitting here waiting for the end manager I want to go out and help him but uh, I can't and then the signal keeps going so he's on the phone to me going oh god use this app <laughs> you're just gonna have to wait man <laughs> dad is desperate for a drink and he doesn't know how to use the app and he's out the front I'm backstage so he needs my help but I've got to go across the stage to get out to get to him but bingo's on and I can't even be described about it because of the door it's crazy He's gonna have to hang on. Six on his own, number six. But he's gasping. I want a glass of wine. Seven, seven, he's messaging me, he's messaging me now on my wall saying, Get your ass out here, I can't four, move. One, this thing is locked. <laughs> Maybe I'll wait for some noise. I keep getting notifications to come up. Where are you? Come on, I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, there's noise. Maybe I'll get the door. It's the creakiest door in the world. Congratulations to all our winners. I really, really can't, but I better wait, because you don't understand. People kick your ass if you mess with bingo. You're dead. I'm a sucker for you. Bingo was when I go anywhere blind. I'm a sucker for you. Oh, 
 if you are on a low floor people walk around above you and keep you awake all night yeah and this is the top tip if you stay in a premier inn and most premiers are like this and yes. someone like you who's heavy footed thanks you mm -hmm. won't get any sleep we've had it so much and now I've put on a stone I'm even more heavy footed Hang on, what number are we? 618. 618. That's down here, isn't it? Yeah. There we are. 618. Right. I should, oh jeez. I should actually have shares in Premier Inn because I swear to God, Tim, on average, how often do we stay in Premier now. Inn? Only because of work. At least twice a week, we stay in a bloody Premier Inn. It's our second home. It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Yeah, that's a bit more like it. Oh, there's my long length mirror. I've got a hairdryer in here. For all you people that don't know what a Premier Inn's like, but if you haven't stayed in a Premier Inn, sure oh dear. <laughs> right, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna kick back, watch the box, as the Northerners say. 
We're gonna have a cup of Charlie, as the Northerners say. But the funny thing is, I'm not a Northerner. I'm just an East Anglian singer. It is gonna be nice to actually just chill out. For me, this is an extremely early start. Eight. It's not early, you start that, you normally get up at half seven anyway. It's a good workout in the morning, really. You can't tell people where you're going. I can't tell you where I'm going. It's very confidential, as you know, but obviously it's to do with acting and we're at L Street, so. Exciting! And as you can see, I've got no makeup on and my hair is not straightened, I look like crap, but there's a reason for that. And that is because once I get into work, work, call this work now, it's amazing. They'll do my hair for me. Woohoo, how the rich live. And they will uh, probably put a little bit of makeup on for me as well. It's very exciting. I can't believe how much traffic there is around. We're not used to this, living on the coast. City life, eh? Yeah. It's but really then, what is our priority this morning, Tim? Go and get McDonald's coffee. That's right, our priority is getting McDonald's coffee. But you know, I feel like shit recently because this whole weekend, I've literally lived off McDonald's. Literally. Finished work on Saturday. Went and got McDonald's. Oh my God, I hate my dad is watching this. Because if we go, you don't want to eat that crap. Um, yes, yeah, so I finished work Saturday, got McDonald's. You out of breath? I am, I'm knackered. But it's only because I've got three inch heels on. It's alright for you Why and your pumps. Why do you keep wearing the heels? But I've got to. two. It's in the contract. I've got to wear black boots. Shoes. Yeah, then I've got to carry a bag and that'd be knackering to then. So you're better off just wearing them. Um, yeah, so McDonald's on a Saturday. And you do walk extra fast, Tim. And... Yesterday, on the way to London, got a McDonald's. This morning, we didn't get a proper McDonald's though. Not a proper McDonald's, just some of those spicy nachos. They're all right, they are. Tim can handle the spice though, he's such a weakling. And then this morning, McDonald's. It's convenience, isn't it? And then tonight on the way home, depending on what time we finish, there'll be a McDonald's again, I'm sure. So, um, yeah, not only do we need shares in Premier Inns, we need shares in McDonald's and we're having a very, very unhealthy weekend because if I ain't been a McDonald's, it's been a much live meal. So this is what happens. You can work hard to buy your food, but the food you buy will have to be take out if you're working hard. And that is the bottom line. Am I right? Yes. We haven't been up this early before. God, it's going to be even worse when we've got to be there for seven. What I like about Elstree, a little bit of history here. So I'm just gonna wrap this up now. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, for watching my vlog. That's if you did watch it. Well, you must be watching it if you see this. And don't forget to subscribe. Why am I recording myself? You have no idea how hard it is to put eyeliner on through a selfie camera. Can't see anything. Do the top ones now, but I can't. I can't see. I can't.